How can anybody look at that type of violence, that type of satanic, barbaric activity and not be moved to speak out? The cop had grabbed me, um, my hijab was ripped off, and I was arrested. We're doing this for Palestinians because we're human beings, and we understand their pain and their suffering, and we empathize with it, and we stand in solidarity with their struggle. But at the same time, we're doing it for ourselves because we understand that there is a connection between their struggles and our struggles. They use these tactics to scare us, to try and silence us. But little do they know that us as a community, we come together and we fight for the rights of Palestinians to help liberate Palestine. They teach you in schools, they teach you in universities, principle, ethics, history, but as soon as you stand up and you do what's right and what they teach you to do right, they strike you down. Law enforcement is not there just to serve and protect everybody but the Arabs or the Muslims or our Jewish and brothers and sisters are standing with us in this fight. They're supposed to serve and protect everybody. They're supposed to educate. They're supposed to have a free speech zone. I'm so disappointed on our governmental institutions. We must all stand against injustice. All of us. This is the time, this is the moment, this is what we have to do. Back in May of this year, we had an encampment set up in solidarity for Gaza. It lasted about seven days before it was brutally raided by cops in riot gear. I was one of the 12 that were arrested during the raid. I had three officers on me during my arrest. One officer who came behind me, kicked me in the back of my legs, throwing me on the ground, while the second officer kneeled me in my back while the third stood over my head and helped them tie the ropes around my wrist. It's shown that Palestinian blood to them is cheap and the hundred thousands lives that were lost means nothing to them. It's not normal to see organs and body bags because that was all that was left of them to be buried. It's not normal for people to be burned alive while they were connected to IVs. I see you all standing here today and like what life would change to the four. I understand what you all have brought through. But one thing about it, if we do not do this together, is something, don't just come out of yourself, bring your children, because the future is to a 